Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week in this 10th episode I'm going to show you one of the most powerful ways of getting really fast with Evernote and that is to start using the keyboard shortcuts. Now there are slight differences between the way these keyboard shortcuts work on a Mac and how they work on a Windows computer, but where you find the list of keyboard shortcuts is in the same place. So for those of you using a Windows computer, you just need to double check the keyboard shortcuts in there. However, that said, my favorite all time keyboard shortcut has just recently come back to Evernote and boy, is that making a huge difference to the speed at which I'm using my very own Evernote account. So without further ado, let me take you into my demo demo account now of Evernote and I'll show you how to get the most out of keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so as I explained in the introduction, one of the fastest ways to get around Evernote is to use keyboard shortcuts. Now my favorite keyboard shortcut is Command J. And if I just tap on this and get, go Command J, that will bring Switch 2. Now Switch 2 to me actually it just means search. Now what I can do is I can just type in here, as you know, we've got James Bond, James Bond Films. So I can actually switch to a, a, a tag by tapping on that and I can bring up my James Bond Films. And I say, okay, I'm not into that now. I'm just gonna go Switch 2. Uh, actually, I think um, we might have, I can do a search from this for Liz. So I'm gonna do that and there's nothing found. I thought we might actually have one there. Let's try another one. Uh, so I'm gonna do Command J again and I'm gonna type in Truss. Let's see what happens there. There we go. Ah, oh, it's because I spelled Truss, Liz Truss wrong. So there we go. We can actually use this as a quick search. So I can pick up Liz Truss name. Uh, I can also go in here and I can type Amazon. So a lot of this is what we did last week, which we were doing searches. And I can do a search, a global search throughout all my notes. And that's just from the keyboard shortcut. Now that to me is something that's just come out in Evernote. So don't worry if you've missed it and think, how did I miss that? No worries, that has only just come out. It is, has always been, even in the old version of Evernote, it was my favorite way to get around my notes. So where do you find all your keyboard shortcuts? Now this is the thing that you want to know. I mean you've got things like command N which will create a new note for you. Very simple. But how do I get to these? Now by the way if you notice what's coming up here and remember I'm using a free version of Evernote right now. So I can actually go in here and I can actually look and think oh look at this. I can actually go in and I can pick up um, some templates if I wish and you can actually add more there. That's something else that's new by the way, it's just come out really, really cool. But really what this episode is about is showing you the, the keyboard shortcuts. Now the keyboard shortcuts, if you go into the help on the top line on the menu bar and keyboard shortcuts is command and forward slash or you can just tap on that. And what you do is you'll get out this pop out window right here. And now if I just zoom in here and we zoom in and you should be able to see that. So what you can do is from here you can now, uh, you've got, these are the new ones that have just come. So switch to is the one I've just given you there which is command J. And then you've got the one down here which is global. Now global means these are editable. You can edit these and to edit any of these, you just click on the little button at the side there and you can edit or you can disable them if it's causing a conflict with some of your other keyboard shortcuts. So these are the global keyboard shortcuts. This means that wherever you are on your computer, now I know this works on Mac, but I'm also aware that Windows 10, I believe, this is not likely to work. The global sheet shortcuts are not likely to work. I think there's an issue with the way Windows is operated, but I could be completely wrong there, so please don't quote me on that. Um, but I know that that one is 
an issue. But if you're using a Mac, then this is where you can get all your keyboard shortcuts from. And then you've got your new one. So as I just showed you, uh, Command N. And these will change if you're using a Windows computer, of course, because they're slightly different. I can create new notebooks, new tags. I can do a search, which would take you into the search bar here, not the Command J, but it would take you into the search bar up here. And I can then delete and move to tag, uh, trash, which is command and delete, select notes, so command all, select a single note, command click. So you can do all sorts. And then you've got navigation down here where you can actually switch to, which we just covered. And then you've got open a shortcut. So this one is really good because if you've got your shortcuts right here, if I just drop down the menu there, let's just remove the keyboard shortcuts for a moment. So whatever you create in your shortcuts, you can actually get straight to them. So right up at the top here, I've got my notebook on productivity, and then I've got my blogs, and then I've got James Bond. So what I can do is I can do command one, and that's going to take me directly to my productivity notebook. I can do command two, and that's going to take me to anything that's got a label with blogs. And then I can, can do command three and I can get to my James Bond books, which is right there. So that's another one that you can do. So let's just go back to my, to go back to the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts. And as you go down here, there are all sorts of things that you can do, as you can see here. And then you've got zoom in, zoom out, zoom to 100%, command zero, full expand, collapse the sidebar, that's right here. And you can go into full screen, which is shift command F. Now, as I say, this is on Mac. Obviously, Windows are going to be slightly different, so do check them out in the Windows. And then you've got note actions, so you can add tags, you can edit tags, you can copy the internal link, you can do note information, you can get the note information, you can rename it. There's all sorts of things that you can do, and editing down there. Uh, so any of these things that you may wish to do, um, they're all here, and there is an awful lot of these uh keyboard shortcuts. Now, I don't expect you to memorize all of them. I think for me, the most commonly used keyboard shortcut, and certainly will be now that it's back, is my switch tool, because that's the way I always navigated around Evernote when I used the older version. It's so nice to see that Command J is back, because it's something that I've just been using for so long. I have, I have muscle memory for that one. And the other one I often obviously use is the new note down there. So there you go. I just wanted to go through these because the, no, learning the keyboard shortcuts is one of the ways that you can get really, really fast with Evernote. So this is the 10th episode of my beginner's guide to Evernote. What I'm going to do next week is just bring in some 10 tips and tricks that you can use with the new Evernote, which I'm sure you will get some really useful information from. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode, and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.